Okay, so this is question 13, part C. Uh, first question you want to look at is calculate angle AOB. So let's draw it first. So A to O whoops, to B. Right, so we're looking at this angle here. Uh, what we will find then is that this straight line, not very straight line, is it? So this line from here to there, well that's the radius, it's going from the center of the circle to the edge. We know the radius is 25, so that's 25 degrees. We also know this length, because from here to here, to the edge again, that's 25, but we're missing that 10 centimeters. So that is 25 minus 10, so it's 15. Uh, this gives us a right angle triangle, so it's Sokotoa because we can find out this angle here and then double it to get the one we need because it'll be perfectly symmetrical on the other side. Uh, so if we get that green angle, we just double it to get the purple angle and the green angle together. So let's use Sokotoa. So the angle we want is the green one. Uh, so we're looking at uh, PB would be the opposite. So 15 is the adjacent and uh, 25 is the hypotenuse. So we're looking at cap, we're looking at adjacent and hypotenuse. So that's cosine of the angle we want, let's call it theta, equals the adjacent, which was 15 over uh, 25. So let's do that in our calculator. Um, so B, what do we say? So inverse cos of 15 over 25, 15 over 25, uh, we're in degrees, so 53.13, so theta is 53.13 uh, degrees. But then we've got to double that, so I'll do that in our calculator as well, so times it by 2, so it's 106.26, so customarily, um, Angles are given to one degree, so it'll be a hundred unless they said otherwise, have they said otherwise? Can't see, so so it'll be 106.3 degrees. Let me double check. Yeah. Okay, calculate the air, but I'm going to probably use that more uh, accurate answer later on. Calculate the area of triangle AOB. So AOB triangle uh, is let's rub out the rest of it. Would be A to O to B. So that. Well, this is a classic example, by the way. So we're going to, it's uh, half times A to A, B sine C. So it's a trapped angle. Hopefully, we've got all the information. This should be one we have because it's the radius. So the angle tra is trapped in between the radii. So that is 25 and that is 25. Uh, so you don't even need to look at the formula if you get used to this, because it is simply a half times the two sides in which the angle is trapped. So 25 times 25 times sine of the angle in between them, which is 106 point, must be a tiny bit more accurate, 0.26. Often these questions, once you establish an answer in a part, they get you to... I'm quite happy for you to um, use that 106.3 answer in the remaining your remainder of your questions for a separate part. But anyway, let's try and be accurate. So half times 25 times 25. Let's do this then. So 0 0.5 times uh, 25 times 25 times sine of... Uh, 106.26, 300, oh gosh, right, so there we go, wowzers, so it's 300 uh, centimetres squared, uh, count, hang on, let's just check, these are, things are right, got the mark scheme somewhere, uh, yeah, so 106.3 and anywhere between 299.9 to 300.4, so we're all good, right, uh, calculate the area of the sector. 
So remember for a sector, it's a part of a circle and it's in degrees. So whatever the angle is over 360 uh, times by pi r squared, the area of a whole circle. Uh, so it was 106.26. Oops. That's the angle over 360 times by pi times by the radius, which is 25. Uh, squared. So let's just work that out then, shall we? So uh, 106.26 over 360 times by pi uh, times by 25 squared. So 579.558, so 580. Right, two, three significant figures. Again, let's just double check, not making a mistake. Uh, anywhere between 577.8 to 580, okay, fine. Right, and then part four, let's look at that. So part four, calculate the shaded area A, P, B, Q, A, P, B, Q. So let's do that then. Figure out. Oh, yeah, hang on, this is done for us. Right, so the shaded area, obviously a shaded in, otherwise they wouldn't call it a shaded area. So that is that funny thingy. Uh, in order to get that, well, they, they, they've done a lot of the work uh, for us here, building up to this, because we found out the area of the, the sector. And this is, you've got to th start thinking like this. So they've given us this. Sorry, they haven't, we worked it out, I beg your pardon. So we worked out the area of that sector just now in part three. And previous to that, we worked out the area of the triangle. So if you do the uh, red sector minus the green triangle, you get the area you want. And you've got to get used to, the, used to this. This is the way, you know, they're not, you know, when you've got these part questions, they don't, they do lead on to, yeah, they're trying to actually help you. They're trying to, you know, give you a little bit of assistance. Okay, so, uh, oh, what? Okay, yeah. So we, we've got the answer practically already. So 580 minus 300 then, basically. The area of the sector, 580 minus 300, so 280. Right, calculate the volume of the trough. Uh, that's why it's one mile, by the way. Calculate the volume of the trough. Uh, this is pretty straightforward as well. So it is the volume is whoops, keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, is gonna it's a prism. So it's just the area of the cross section, the red bit, times by the length. Right, first of all, then let us uh, convert it to uh, centimeters, though, and then we'll deal with the meters after that because everything's got to be in the same unit. So three meters is 300 centimeters. So it would be what we've just worked out there. Uh, 280 times by 300. So 280 times by 300. So it's 84,000 centimetres cubed. And then you've got to recall that, uh, that in one litre, it is 1,000 centimetres cubed. So it would be 84 uh, litres 